This morning on Today Food, two amazing Italian meals you can make this week. You can make them tonight. Here with us today is Laura Vitale, cookbook author and host of Laura in the Kitchen. Laura, good morning. Good morning. Sometimes, you know, a nice big Italian meal feels like something you save for Sundays, but yeah. this is like a really quick, easy meal. It's so quick, it's so easy. It's actually two things that I can get my very picky daughter to eat. Oh. So I feel like it would be super family friendly. No, I'm all ears. Um, and Hidden it, spinach really always easy. goes a long way. Yeah, oh. we're gonna start off with some chicken meatballs. Okay. And I make them really easy, but I have to make them flavorful because I think ground chicken can be so dry. Yes. So in a bowl, if you would, yes, add a little bit of garlic. A little garlic, okay. Yes, and a little garlic. A pinch of Italian seasoning. Oh, just a pinch. Just a right. pinch. I like to add some frozen chopped spinach. Make Make sure you mm. thaw and like squeeze out really all that liquid. It, okay. it adds not only moisture, but it also adds extra vitamins that I know my kid will eat exactly. because once it's covered in a, in a yummy Parmesan sauce, mm. she won't know that it's right. in there. It's just mm. delicious. Egg, Parmesan cheese, breadcrumbs, a little salt and pepper, and okay. you're going to mix it all together. Mm -hmm. Um, can you over mix look, chicken like you can with beef? Does it make it tough? Not really. Okay. Not really. I've never found that to be an issue whatsoever. Great. You mix it together, and then at this point, if you want to, you can form your meatballs, which I like to use a scooper. A scooper to, to make sure they're all the same size. Yeah, make sure that they're all the same size. I also don't like to get my hands dirty. Um, <laughs> and this is a great, actually, it's a great thing. You roll them up, and then you can actually freeze them like this, oh. so that you have they're them good ready. To go whenever you need them. If you do a double batch, so that when you have another late night dinner to put Ooh. together, you can Perfect. thaw them out. So when it time. comes time to cook them, do you so then. I put them in the oven. I just okay. throw them in a hot oven 420 minutes and they're perfect. And okay. then you make the sauce by sweating out some shallots and garlic. Mm -hmm. Make those then, shallots sweat. Yes. <laughs> then you add some tomatoes. Okay. Ooh, that is yummy. And then you'll do a little bit of wine, chicken stock, a little bit of cream. All of this? Or? Yes, all okay. of it. And then let that reduce until it's really nice and thick. And then when the sauce is ready, you add your meatballs back in until they are sort of warm through. Ooh, and then clean that too. is like it. Doesn't it doesn't taste heavy. No, it's mm -hmm. super, they're super light. And I attribute mm -hmm. that to the spinach. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. I attribute that to the spinach. Yeah, they're not mm. dense. They're right. really no, good. Not at all. <clears throat> How about I this pasta? Wait, this pasta is oh, let's, right let's get, let's The pasta is next level. And so it's good. actually one of those recipes that I pulled oh, together wow, out delicious. of leftover things that I had in my fridge. Really? And all I, yeah, I had some open sun dried tomatoes, which I don't know what to do with them a whole lot because they're mm -hmm. not my favorite thing to eat as is. So I added them to some sweating shallots and garlic. Oh, sweating shallots. Why do you like these shallots? I need to learn how to sweat shallots. Yeah. They're a bit more mild and tender, and the pack usually has seven or eight, so I like to use them all oh, up. That's true. Could you use onions or scallions? You can could... use onions, you can use shallots, and you can use green onions, any alien really. Okay. Add your sun-dried tomatoes mm -hmm. along with a little bit of tomato sauce. That's why it has that tomato. Yes, and then you do a little oregano, a little hot pepper oh, wow. flake, and then that's you'll so add, easy. then you'll add a little bit of the pasta oh, the water, water and oh. your rigatoni, mm. and then that pasta water, you want it to Get in there. Right. I'm gonna try this. And then that rigatoni is just rich and delicious. And then the best way to serve it yeah, I saw is you to do serve something it really cool. with a burrata. Oh, that is yummy. Mm. And then as you eat it, you would obviously yeah. add this to an entire giant serving, not just right. one <laughs> breakfast. Although I'm not judging. No. That is fine. A oh big my gosh. sprinkle of parm, a little additional hot pepper flakes for heat because I like things hot. And the burrata adds and such a creaminess so to it. Good. Look, so we good. almost finished it. And it's <laughs> easy. And it's easy. Oh, wow. And if you don't have sun dried tomatoes, skip them. And you could use any pasta if you any want. Any pasta, long, short, whatever kind of pasta. Yeah, good. Very oh, wow. forgiving. It's so good. I've never thought of just the fresh burrata as good. a sauce yeah. almost. It makes so its own good. sauce. Actually. It makes mm. it creamy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That is delicious. The secret of sweating those shallots. Oh, yeah. That's a secret. A win. Oh, wow. For these recipes, it's today.com slash dude. Like I went to school with a guy yeah. named Sweaty Sally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>